This is going to be a much shorter review type video about Across the Spider-Verse. I originally had a longer one planned out, but it wasn't working out the way that I wanted it to. If you were a fan of Into the Spider-Verse, you are going to love this movie. If you are a fan of Miles Morales, you are going to love this movie. If you are a fan of any incarnation of Spider-Man that we have ever seen in the comics, you will love this movie. This movie is, in my opinion, unparalleled in how it handles the different relationships that the spiders have with events in their lives and how they deal with what that does to them. Miguel O'Hara, his trauma caused him to want to prevent mass casualty from ever occurring no matter what the costs to those around him. Miles just wants to do his own thing. He wants to be himself and he's sick and tired of everyone around him telling him how he should be and how his story is going to go and what kind of hero specifically he should be as spider-man gwen's story which i would argue this movie is more of gwen's story than anything else is phenomenal her entire arc her coming to grips with what it means for her to be spider-woman and how that impacts her relationship with her family and friends is really solid this movie is almost perfect and i say almost only because this film is a two-parter so the story while technically incomplete is still incredibly solid and i cannot wait for beyond the spider-verse to come out next year the story of this film is phenomenal ostensibly this film is about following what you believe and who you want to be and not letting others determine that for you. And I thought that story was fantastic. I thought it was incredibly well executed and it is a lot of fun. Like I said, it is a really good time to see a bunch of the other spiders on screen that we have never gotten to see on screen before. It is also incredibly fun to see a bunch of different Easter eggs from the different Spider-Man movies and the TV shows and pretty much every incarnation we've ever seen on screen before, including cameos from The Spectacular Spider-Man, Spider-Man Unlimited, pretty much every other live action incarnation that we've ever seen. This movie is amazing and I for one cannot wait for the rest of it to come out. So with everything in mind, for me personally, this movie rolls an 18, with the very high chance that once Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out, it will roll a natural 20. I loved this movie, and if you're a fan of Spider-Man or superheroes in general, I guarantee you will also love this film, and I highly recommend that you go see it as soon as possible. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry it took a little bit longer for the movie to come out in relation to the film's release. I originally had a much longer, more in-depth video, but it wasn't working out and I didn't really like what I was saying, so I plan on going back and redoing that in concert with Across the Spider-Verse. Well, see in the future. Also, a lot of what I think has been said on the internet before, so I didn't feel like going into a whole super long spiel about it. But that is all that I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from me. If you want to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below. That is all that I have for now. I will see you guys next time.